There's seven days of rain in the forecast. Near the mountains of Montserrat. Amazingly beautiful comment. Kind of hard some days. Very dirty. We have just this epic camp location. After struggling to get out of the outskirts of Barcelona, we find some back roads hugging the iconic mountain range called Montserrat, which literally means serrated mountain. Due to the moody weather, the mountain took on many faces and we were constantly fascinated by its majestic appearance. November Infamous for its changeable character, gave us some challenges. But lucky for us, there was a warm soul out there to offer us a cup of tea just when we needed it most. So we are almost at the top of our climb today and we were just invited by this amazing woman to have a warm cup of tea under the roof of her fan, under the back door of her fan. And it was so welcome because it's raining on and off today. And uh, yeah, that's pretty tiring. So this was really a great break. And uh, yeah, we have around maybe 200 meters to climb and then we're going to find a place to sleep. We're at this amazing mountain range Montserrat, close to Barcelona. So we hope for an epic view and yeah, we will see you tonight. Kijk, en dan zie je nu... Oh, daar staat dat bij hem. Hi, we are in a beautiful place. And, uh, <laughs> Near the mountains of Montserrat. You can't see them, but we will show you tomorrow. And uh, we're now going to look for the camp spot over yeah. here in the woods. We found a nice place. Put up the tent in spite the rain. It now it's uh, just stopped, so that's great. Uh -huh. Yeah, what an area! Yeah, beautiful area. So this is Montserrat behind us, and yeah, we have just this epic camp location. Our tent is just beside this amazing view over here. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow to discover more of this area. Yeah, hopefully there's no not so many clouds as today, so we can make some nice drone shots for you guys. So uh, let's see if that pans out. Pans out. Uh, yeah. Right. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.
again, again. Oh man, getting tired of it. Disaster has struck, as you can probably tell. I've fallen twice in a row on this very, very, very muddy road. This is just this really, really heavy, sticky mud and it's all plucked up in my fenders. Uh, crazy stuff. So I feel adventurous and very dirty. <laughs> and uh, what do you say? Shall we get some warm cup of coffee somewhere if they will accept me like this? <laughs> I'm all for it. The only bad thing is that my knee hurts quite a bit, so we will see yeah, how it uh, pan out. Pans out, pans out. Uh, yeah. How it pans out. How this uh, pans out. So let's see how this will pan out. How it pans out. <laughs> but we're still happy. We're also grumpy, but we don't show that on camera. <laughs> Recently we got this amazingly beautiful comment. It was actually a poem by one of our subscribers. And uh, I would like to read it for you. It's, uh, we thought it was really beautiful. Industrial complexion that nature tries to hide. Two fearless adventurers, onward far and wide. Uphill, down dale is beauty. A puncture cannot stop. Their smiles are so infectious. Even mountains cannot top. Campsite from the heavens, carried by their mighty steeds. Two happy global trotters, go sprinkle happy seeds. That's something that touched our hearts. Beautiful, and uh, we have many beautiful uh, comments or, or even drawings from some people. And from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank everybody who helps us with their positive inspiration, their positive words to go on and go on adventures and share it with you guys. It's so satisfying. Man, I've never had... Oh, I didn't do it all. Look at this, guys. Bling. I'm making us a salad. We get quite a lot of questions. What uh, do we eat on a bike tour? Because of course it's good to maintain your health on a bike tour. And we always try to eat a lot of vegetables, some grains, beans, a lot of fruit. And we mix it up with some nuts and seeds and uh, avocado for fats. So that is kind of the basis and like one really important thing is a lot of chocolate as anyone knows coffee is an important thing <laughs> as you might have noticed in our videos yeah and hydrating with uh, water and uh, the occasional alcoholic beverage yeah we're not perfect in maintaining a, a good diet sometimes it's just really difficult to uh, find stuff or to keep up with everything uh, when you're tired or something yeah, we try our best and I have to say it is easier right now as comparing to our bigger trip there it was just difficult to find stuff. Yeah, so that's the answer to that. It's this up and down kind of day and it's really tiring. Like 50 meters up, 20 meters down. 100 meters up, 50 meters down. <sighs> kind of hard some days.
gross tonight. Here in the middle of the Los Monegros desert.